welcome back and happy fall, hee hee. As you can see, we have a lot of Trader Joe's fall items with us. We were going to do a mukbang with Will, but he was a little hungover this morning, so I'm so excited to try all this food. The first one I'm going to be trying are these pumpkin spice teeny tiny pretzels with yogurt flavored coating and crushed pumpkin spiced pumpkin seeds. Ooh, okay, I love like chocolate coated pretzels. Let's try it. This is what they look like. Wait, let's focus. Nope, not focusing. Yeah, they're good. Mm. Yeah, they, okay, these are actually fire. I'm gonna have another one. The pretzel could be saltier. Oh. I'm trying to be as critical as Will normally is. Because normally I give everything such a high rating. I'm gonna try the pumpkin bisque. Let me heat this up. So, uh, okay, I heated up the pumpkin bisque, but it's currently like scorching hot, so I'm going to try something else in the meantime. These I'm actually really curious about. The pumpkin tortilla chips, crafted with simple ingredients including pumpkin puree, pumpkin seeds, cinnamon, and nutmeg. Interesting, we got like some salsa to try with them, but I kinda wanna try them plain. Oh, by the way, I forgot to rate the pretzels. I'm gonna give the pretzels a nine out of 10. They were really, no, an eight out of 10 because they could have been saltier. They could have been saltier. But smell, they don't really smell like fall. Okay. Uh, there is like a hint of like some kind of fall spice, but no. These are straight up just tortilla chips. <laughs> I mean, they're fine. I'm honest, but like they're not like pumpkin tortilla chips. There's like a hint of pumpkin, but this is going to get a 1 out of 10. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so like zero to 100 with my ratings. Okay, I feel like the soup is still hot, so let's try something else. Pumpkin Madeline cookies. I love Madeline cookies. Ooh, let's try one. I actually really like pumpkin flavored things, but so ah, sometimes I will say I just prefer having the original over like a pumpkin spiced flavored. Okay, anyway. Pumpkin Spice Madeline Cookie from Trader Joe's. Yeah. See, that's really good. But you know what? I still would prefer just a regular Madeline cookie. Also, the pumpkin taste is a little too subtle. It's good because I like Madeline cookies, but... There's no like real pumpkin-y oomph, you know? Also, sorry about my nails, you guys. I went out last night and I don't know why I decided to take off all my nail polish while I was at the club. <laughs> like, okay. But now they look so gross. Does anybody know how to take off gel nail polish? That's like not with your fingers because I feel like, I, I don't know, I feel like it's not good for your nails when I do that, but I'm gonna check on the pumpkin bisque. I give these 
honestly a two out of 10. There really wasn't much pumpkin flavor. Okay, I'm actually really excited for what's about to happen now. This is the pumpkin bisque. Trader Joe's has these things called cornbread crisps and I tried them like last year and they're straight up the best things ever. Like, obsessed. So I wanna dip one of them in the pumpkin bisque. Wait, I can't even wait to eat one of these. These are so good. Mm. Okay. Now let's try the pumpkin bisque. It's still kind of hot. You know what? That's actually really good. It's still hot. I want to stuff it all in my mouth. Mmm, this makes me excited for fall. I love soup weather. Even though soup weather is any weather. Okay, since this is so hot, let's dip a cornbread crisp in. I don't even know if that'll taste good. Yeah, that works. Oh you know, this soup tastes a lot like butternut squash. Cool down. It's so hot, you can see like the oil. Now I'm going to try the spooky bats and cats sour gummy candies. I don't even know if this is like a fall item. I think it's like all like a Halloween spooky season item. I have a feeling it's gonna be really similar to the Scandinavian swimmers. <gasps> There's like a purple flavor in here, which I can only assume is great. But let's see. Yum. There's like a different smell than the Scandinavian swimmers. Let's try the grape one. Mm. Trader Joe's does not miss with their sour candy. I really wanted to get the sour jelly beans, but they were all out. My friend Christina said that they're amazing. Mm. So the grape did taste like, I mean the purple did taste like grape. Mm. There's purple, orange, and green, which are like very interesting colors. But I guess they're like, I don't know, are they even Halloween colors? Purple? I don't know. Honestly, this is good. I don't think I would get these again because if I'm gonna get sour candy from Trader Joe's, it's going to be the Scandinavian swimmers. These are good, but mmm. I'm gonna give it a five out of 10, five out of 10. Okay, you guys, the soup is a lot cooler. I'm really digging it. I mean, I guess maybe I haven't had a lot of pumpkin bisques, <laughs> but it tastes a lot like a butternut squash soup. Mm. I like this, I'm gonna give it, I'm gonna give this an eight out of 10. I think it's really good. I would get it again. It's like really comforting. I like the fall flavors. Mmm. I also just love soup. Now for the thing I am most excited for. The butternut squash mac and cheese. You guys. Look at this selectable creaminess. Oh. She is cheesy, she is creamy. I'm just having so much fun mixing this right now. Oh my God, yum. Okay. This, this is really good. Ooh.
Man, is this delectable? It's so cheesy. I, I like can't get over how cheesy it is. I'm about to eat this whole thing. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wait. I gotta take a TikTok. I need to show them this. Okay, wow, that butternut squash mac and cheese was so, so good. Okay, but now let's cleanse the palate with a little non-dairy pumpkin oat beverage. Hee <laughs> hee. I actually am obsessed with Trader Joe's oat milk, so this should be exciting. Okay, I don't know if we have to shake it or not. I also like, don't really know what I would use this in. I guess coffee? Right? <laughs> oh yeah, actually coffee. Can make like my own little PSL. Hee uh. <laughs> hee. Okay, Will's like taking a nap. Okay, ready? Cheers. <laughs> Gabs. Of course I, oh. Ugh. It smells like a Bath and Body Works candle. I mean, it tastes like one. Yeah, I don't, I, I don't think I'll get this again. I'm gonna give it, uh, it does taste like pumpkin. I'll give it a four out of 10, four out of 10. Oh, and also the mac and cheese is, for me, 10 out of 10, easy. Easy 10 out of 10. Actually, that's the first 10 out of 10 I've given. What? Okay, the next item is a little boring, but I felt like I needed to get it for some reason. These ghosts and bat crispy potato snacks. I honestly just think it's gonna taste like nothing. So what they look like. made the face. They're not that bad. They're like they're like potato chips but like what's the catch? Are they healthy or something? They taste a lot less oily than like normal potato chips. Let's see. Ingredients. Potato flour, potato scarch, expeller pressed vegetable oil, Oh, so I guess these are like a healthier potato chip. You know what? They're not bad. They're like weirdly addicting. I don't know. I don't know how to feel about them. I'm not gonna get them again. Nope, definitely not. I'm gonna give these They're just so plain. I'm gonna give these a three out of 10. Cause like I'm enjoying it. I might be too harsh. No, these get a three out of 10. They're not even that salty. As I keep eating them. Well, I'm gonna take a nap after I eat all this. Next, we have this delectable pumpkin blonnie brownies with white chocolate chips and pecans. Do you guys say pecans or pecans? Look at that, look at that. Oh. Ooh, hoodly ooh. I really wanted to get the pumpkin, like, Kringle that they had, but they were all out, unfortunately. Unfortunately. Oh my God, am I excited for these? You guys, oh my god, oh. sorry I keep showing them, I'm just so excited. Ooh, oh my god. Mm-hmm, these are really good. Mm, yep. I really like these. Mm. Mm. 
My only complaint is I don't know. I can't taste a lot of white chocolate chips. I'm tasting more nuts. And I'm not the biggest, like, fan of nuts in my pastries. So my only critique is I wish there was more white chocolate. So 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10. Oh, that was another one close to 10 out of 10. But, yeah, because other than that, it would have been really good. Less nuts, more white chocolate chips. Last item, the butternut squash mac and cheese bites. I wonder if it's going to be better or worse than the actual mac and cheese. I guess we'll see. <laughs> Cheers. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. That is very hot. Um. Wait, I don't love this. Maybe I need to wait for it to cool down. It's always hard to taste things fully when they're like scorching hot. <laughs> Ow! I'm really not crazy about it. It's more like creamy than it is cheesy. Like, do you see the inside? Like, there's not even that much macaroni in it. That was cheese. Well, we gotta eat the next one. Should I film this on my TikTok? I've been sharing this video a lot with my TikTok. I guess because I want to share with my TikTok, like, the new items, but half of you guys probably follow me there too. I'm going to rate the mac and cheese balls a 7 out of 10. Because they are really good, I will say. They have a great crunch. I air fried them. But I wish they were cheesier and I wish it was more packed. I would say my favorite item that I ate... It was the butternut squash mac and cheese. Yeah, definitely. That was, I think that was my only 10 out of 10, which is so crazy. Well, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Hee <laughs> hee.